how's it going? Guess what? I cut my hair. I trimmed my layers and I cut the length in back. I think cut like eight inches off and I'm sure you guys don't care. So moving on, I have this news and weather app that I absolutely love and every day when I lay down to relax, I will go through this news and weather app and I'll look up the different news that is on this app. And so they have different categories of news. They have like nation news and then they'll have like entertainment news and sports news and health news. And you can also create your own category and then they will do like a search online to find these articles that will match like that main category. So I made three new categories and one is um, makeup, the other one was personality and the other one was colors. For the longest time, I, every time I would go and look up the makeup um, category, it was always about these celebrities that would show these no makeup selfies that they put on Instagram. And then there'd be like these bloggers who like spent a year without makeup and wow, look at them. It's so fabulous that they can go without makeup and it's so empowering for them. And after so much of this, it kind of weighs you down because I wear makeup every day. I've been wearing makeup every day for a long time. It's just what I do. It's habit. So I was one day looking up again on the makeup section and it was talking about this article from the Huffington Post by a lady named, and I'm gonna totally, her, her last name I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. Sorry, if I'm, I doubt you're even gonna be watching this. Dagmara. And the article starts out with, I could leave the house without my makeup, but here's why I don't. And I instantly was like, oh girl, I love you. So I clicked on the article and here this woman talks about how she's in her late 30s and she spent all of her life pretty much wearing makeup. She went through different ages. She went through when she was 10 and when she was 17. She talks about how she was always wearing makeup and makeup's always been a big part of her life and how she talked about how it makes her happy and it's something she enjoys doing. You know, I thought about it and I thought it was really great that she wrote that, that she wasn't part of this whole like no makeup selfie storm that's coming by and blowing us all over because some of us do enjoy wearing makeup. To me, it's like art. I know that sounds silly. I've heard other people say that, but to me, it's like art. I know I don't go like extreme and wear like crazy makeup, maybe every once in a while. Honestly, if you like wearing makeup, keep wearing makeup. I don't feel like we should have to follow this trend of these no makeup selfies or going around with no makeup on and being like, hey, I'm a woman, hear me roar without makeup on. If you wanna wear your makeup, wear your makeup. If you don't wanna wear your makeup, then don't wear your makeup. It does not matter. I have friends who are gorgeous without makeup on. And then there's me, they'll see me without makeup on and I'm like, oh great, oh no. This is the end of the world because I look hideous. I think all that matters is what you're happy with. I'm kind of big on first impressions. I know that they say that first impressions are the most lasting impressions. And I also hear too, that that's not fair. You shouldn't judge someone. You know, you, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. You shouldn't judge someone the same way. You know, but sadly, that's just how we are as people. We remember you from the first time we saw you. And so I try to make myself look nice and look decent because I just, I like to leave a, an impression. I want to say to you ladies that you are amazing and you are beautiful just as you are. And whether you choose to wear makeup or you choose to not wear makeup, that is your choice and you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. So do what you want to do, follow your life the way you want to, and y'all have a good day and I'll catch you on the flip. Bye.